and welcome back to the Duke of Scopi Studios here in Geneva. Today we'll be discussing sustainable finance and joining me to discuss is Jean Neville, partner at Concert Invest. So Jean, welcome to the studios. Thank you. So Jean, tell me what is going on in the global investment markets and in Focus Switzerland? Yes, the, this market of uh, sustainable finance is a growing, growing market, not only uh, like in Europe, uh, but also in US, in Asia, in some uh, everywhere this market has some interest from investors now. Globally about uh, on the 70 trillion, which I manage globally about one third, 20 million, have now some uh, sustainable finance component in it, which can be from exclusion from very specific sectors like tobacco or things like that, but also more sophisticated approach like selecting best company which has the best impact in terms of environmental and social issues. But also it's also uh, components like uh, thematic investment which are trying to focus on uh, climate change issues, on agriculture, on energy, on water, and also a very new and interesting development now, which we call impact finance, which includes this historical approach of microfinance, but also a lot more sophisticated approach to favor the development of uh, new business in emerging market linking to social and environmental issues. And all globally, this, uh, this part of uh, impact investment is about 100 billion now, and it's really retaining a lot of uh, interest from public authorities, from uh, end of one fund, from foundation, and now from institutional investor like pension funds. So globally, this market is a very, a very nice market is now organized around the United Nations principle of uh, investment where we see there are big regroupment of uh, the main actors, pension fund and asset owner. We really are shaping the future of the finance. It's really how the finance sector will contribute to sustainable development. In Switzerland, a lot of interesting initiatives have been uh, set up recently as a creation of the Association Swiss Sustainable Finance, where I am also deputy uh, CEO, which has, no, has been joined by more than 80 members now. Globally, all major actors in the finance sector, banks, asset manager, boutiques, and some uh, governmental NGO like WWF and also university have joined this uh, movement to, to propose uh, a new way of investing for the Swiss financial sector is really to, to focus on this sustainable components, the contribution, how the financial sector can contribute to sustainable development. And this is very uh, interesting because a lot of dynamic is there, a lot of work groups has a, we are also have a contribution from uh, administration, Swiss administration, we also try to, to connect how we can help them to attract private capital within the development sectors. Globally in Switzerland the market is about 60 billion, generally with the very soft, the most sophisticated approach which is best in catch approach where you try to select the best companies, but also Switzerland is also a leader in microfinance, about 30% of uh, microfinance uh, assets are managed from, uh, from Switzerland with a uh, company established in, uh, in uh, Zurich and Geneva. And are there any particular topics or trends that you have noticed in the markets? Yes, the, and this year we have uh, uh, a very interesting development uh, regarding green bonds. It's clear it's not a surprise. We have a lot of, uh, of issues uh, regarding uh, financing climate change uh, uh, solutions and we have globally around about globally 500 trillion billion of uh, assets, bonds, which are you know, linking to climate change. So the market is, is growing. We, we expect to have other uh, additional billion are joining this year this uh, this green bond on this market is organizing about this uh, this assets green green bond assets about now 65 billion and now label have a label this label is very important because we we, we want to to be sure that money allocated to this climate gen regenerate impact have the transparency needed that the investor know where we're investing in and there we see now around the climate bond uh, initiative green bond initiative new standard emerging, you know, to give to the market some guidance to see what is a green burn in, in infrastructure, what is a green burn in, in uh, agriculture, to be sure that this money is not some greenwashing uh, investment and really contributing to, uh, 
to finance long-term solution uh, for, uh, for investors and for uh, uh, climate change. Uh, this is a very uh, important development uh, in, uh, internationally and also we have uh, uh, again an interesting development in the microfinance uh, sector. This, uh, this sector is a, is a very narrow structure, it's about 10 billion and we see again an interest from, uh, from investors in that. This, mar this market f has faced some challenge like they had in, the, in India to, to, uh, to ensure the, the sustainability of investment. And now they have uh, um, go through this problem, they have reorganized the market, and now they have uh, been uh, able to regain the trust of investors. And now this market is growing again. And last year, for example, on average, they, uh, they have about 3 to 4 percent return on this microfinance debt uh, on in US dollar. So meaning it, it's also an asset class which is interesting to have for uh, institutional investors as it has delivered an interesting average return with a low correlation with uh, what's happening in, uh, in, uh, in uh, other type of market like that where we have very low correlation. But also we have this market is interesting because microfinance is very interesting when the country is a, it has a problem. When there is a crisis, in a, an economic crisis, microfinance is reinforced because the needs from uh, low, uh, low income people to have access to capital is more, more important. So we have some time of, of a market which doesn't fear to have, go within crisis and so it's, it's also uh, interesting for investors to join again this, uh, this market. Absolutely well, thank you John so much for coming into the studios today. Thank you. And thank you for watching. For all the latest Dukascopy updates and interviews, do keep clicking back. Goodbye for now.